What's up, everybody? Uh, it is October the 11th. Let me make sure. Yep. I make mean, QT just got me a coffee. Just got a crazy leg workout in. But it wasn't that crazy. It was all right. It was a little intense. A lot of ham, mainly hitting hamstrings. Um, just got that in. I got my coffee. I'm gonna add some lemon to it. It's, it's coming now. It's coming along. It's definitely coming. Add some lemon. Add some lemon to my coffee. I'm in the car. Uh, all right now. Yeah, so got my coffee. Got a uh, got my coffee. Um, hope this give me a little more energy. I'm kind of out of it. But I've been making some faces when I'm drinking stuff. <sighs> you really gotta train your mind up to eat for nutrition when I when I realized that I was gonna have to change my diet I watched wet the health I went cold turkey and changed my diet I went straight vegan thought I was gonna finish up the burgers that I had in the in the um in the fridge and all that stuff man I ended up throwing that stuff away so I couldn't go back as I learned what I learned it didn't make sense to continue to eat the same stuff. You know, a, a lot of questions that I had been answering about, you know, people getting cancer and diabetes and blood pressure issues and dying of these illnesses at a younger age, 30 and 40 years old. I'm like, hold up now, wait. You know, somebody got to ask the question, like, why? And once I found out, it was all gas, no brakes, man. When you first become a vegan, it seemed like there ain't nothing to eat out there. <laughs> man, it's crazy. It's like, dang, y'all like you can do is eat vegetables and fruits. That's all you know. That's all you're knowledgeable of. And then you're like, well, nuts and seeds, I can eat that too. That's that's vegan. And then you start thinking, okay, you got beans and rice, okay. Okay, I can have oatmeal. Then you start looking at all the junk food vegan stuff. Oh, pop tarts? Oh, this is vegan too. Huh? Yeah. Waffles without eggs. You know what I'm saying? You start eating all this vegan junk. And then your process of getting fit be slow. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then you eat all them alternatives with soy in it and you get weak and start feeling cold and you're like, what the world going on? Well, maybe it's because I'm not getting the right type of protein in. It's not that. It's because you're eating too much soy. I, I found that out. I actually found that out. Uh, I was eating too much uh, soy, plant-based alternatives with soy in it. When I tell you I hit 135 three times and was man and was struggling. I'm like, I am struggling with 135. I know I'm not this weak. It's like, well shoot, let me keep going, let me keep going, let me keep going. Cause I ain't giving up. Man. It was crazy. And then I already knew soy was not good. However, I was like, you know what? That probably ain't true because everything else is a lie. So, kept going. Next thing you know, I started getting man boobs. And I was already, I think, dealing with that a little bit beforehand. 
But now, nah, when I really started doing a lot of soil, it got real bad. Like, it was horrible. And um, I realized that uh, I had to get surgery done to, um, like, it, it was the soil. It was doing all that soil. I had to get surgery done because those glands had got real hard and they had to cut it out. That's why I got scars. And um, they didn't do the liposuction. All they did was cut the tish um, tissue out. And um, I think they should have. I know for a fact they should have did the liposuction because it's uh, it's not no hard tissue there, but it's hard for me to like harden up. You know, my whole the, the lower part of my chest. But um, I'm thinking about you know um, going back and getting them to do the liposuction to suck out the rest of that fat to tighten up the bottom part of my chest like it should be and get it back to normal. I'm trying my best to do everything naturally though, cause um I feel like it's definitely possible. Don't know until you give it all you got. So that's it for that. That's a little story about my life and how you really gotta educate yourself when you're going into this and listen to some people that's done been through it. Some people will say um they had no issues with soy. However, um, I did see one guy who was doing like 300 milligrams of soy a day, but um, he was a uh, we he was a different race, and I think you know different stuff worked for different races. As far for me, as a black person, it didn't work well. Okay, so and plus I was getting way more than 300 milligrams. I was, I mean, 300 grams. I was getting like 900 to a thousand. That 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 did not work well. So I'm back at the gym, eight six four legends. If you're in Anderson, South Carolina, and you want a great gym to come to, man. Know what I'm saying? Right here, man. Let me give y'all a tour of, my, of the gym. Y'all a toy. A lot of hard work going into this thing. Gotta make something for the for the community, for the hometown. Not something that's too too uppity, okay? We're going here, man. We got we got the machine down through here. Trying not to get nobody on camera. Cause we got a few uh few customers in here. What's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? We got uh, a lot of leg equipment. Uh, yeah, got the jungle gym, and we having a lift party coming up. We having a lift party coming up. I told 29, 12 p.m. Come on up here, dressed up. Yeah, got a few racks. Can't show too much. Got some people over there. I'll we'll take y'all to the back. Take y'all to the back. I um, mean, get that calf raise going. Got the cardio side over here. Okay, ain't nobody in here. Cardio side over here. Got the leg press. It's a gym. And we still upgrading some stuff, you know. So, if you're in Anderson, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, uh, Pendleton, Seneca, Clemson, Williamson, where am I forgetting? You know, Georgia, we ain't, you ain't far from here. Come on up here. We can put somewhere to work out. Got memberships as low as $10 for veterans. Well, $10 for veterans, college students, uh, teachers, first response. Firemen, police, you know, and people who work on, uh, and, our, and our clients who we personally train. And then somebody who just wanting to come work out, um, if you don't fit those categories, it's $20. $30 to bring one guest with you. Yeah. Down to Earth Gym, man, where you come, you ain't got to worry about nobody standing over here looking, watching you lift the way you worry about you slamming too hard. We don't do none of that over here, man. We like for everybody to feel like they at home. Work out in peace. You feel me? So, trust me. Me and all my homeboys, we done, we done been to gyms and got kicked out. 
we know how it is. So, hey, we ain't in with all that. So, um, yeah, man, it's a gem for the community, for, for the people to come get some good work in. All right? So I'm back at home, and uh, I don't like how this mustache go down. I'm, I'm going to cut this off. It's making me look old. Anyways, I'm about to drink this fire cider. This fire cider. Um, do another four ounces. Let it flush me out. And then I'm going to get me a second workout in real quick. I want to hit these shoulders a little bit. We'll probably do this workout. I've been wearing this sweat vest since early this morning. About 7, 7.45. So I'm about to take this thing out and see what I look like. So this, this is what I love about this. I have to win it for a long time. When I take it off, it's like I got. It's like I got a baby all over me, but I don't. Versus when I take the sweet sweat off, I'll be all pale and stuff. And this this ain't like that. Progress being made. It's coming along pretty good, pretty good. I didn't get to get my workout in. Uh, I had to go pick my daughter up. I'm trying to be on time picking her up. Cause I know she don't like waiting at school, school over. I'm ready to get to the house and chill. But uh anyways, uh man, that 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 fire side is rough. Did my pre-workout. And also I'm gonna tell y'all, I didn't take my supplement this morning. Um kinda wanna try something out, like maybe not take the supplements early on the empty stomach. Maybe try like well, I know my herbs are, are okay, and in the past, I've been able to, like, really straight up doing it the way I've been doing it. However, um, I think I want to try, I think I want to try uh, waiting until my eating window open up and then take my supplements then, because I, I took my supplements, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, and when I used the bathroom, my poop looked a little funny. And um, I was trying to see if, I always look at my poop to see how it's looking. I was like, man, did I poop those supplements right back out? It didn't look like it, but it kind of did. It was like a little slimy looking, but it it was uh it was dark so I knew that my my body had uh digested it well. I'm trying to talk and drive at the same time. I knew it had digested well. So I'm not sure. Maybe I might try waiting until my window open up. But usually I try to take my supplements twice a day. But um might try one time. Anyways, I'm going to check my weight when I get to the house. And I did do one workout earlier today. So I was going to do a second workout just to get some extra in, extra chest and shoulders maybe. Just do a little extra. Sometimes I feel like I need to work out a little more. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will get a workout in later on. We'll see. But I'll keep y'all updated. What's going on, everybody? So I'm gonna tell y'all, I have my my ab stimulator. This right here. While I drive and pick up my daughter and niece, uh, I ran the program twice. So it's my second time running the program. It's usually about a 30 minute program. So I think that's been helping out a whole lot. Like this app, y'all. It really does work when you're trying to really get your ab defined and straighted alongside of doing ab workouts and fasting and doing 
everything that you need to do to build those apps up. I think I'm going to open my eating window up a little bigger, just a little bigger, to try to maintain some of my mass so I don't lose. Well, I ain't worried about losing too much. Um, I just want to make sure I don't burn up too much muscle. I'm getting real good and lean, so uh, I'm just thinking about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet. Uh, if I do open it up, I may open it up maybe like an hour early or two hours early, so it'll be like 4 p.m. till about 12 p.m. I mean, 12 a.m. I may eat between those times, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. That's that's eight out of one though. I was doing six to ten. So it would be it will it will be four to ten. But I really ain't been eating in a four hour window. I I've been oh no, I would go past my six hours. That's what was going on. So I really was like going past six hours and I would eat at like seven or eight. And that's why I was eating until a later time. Um, I really haven't been strict on it though. Sometimes I'll eat less for like two hours or three hours. Sometimes I'll eat five hours. So, but yeah, so I might do like a five o'clock to 10 or four o'clock to 10. So that'd be a six hour window. But besides that, everything's coming along good. What's up everybody? So. It is 5.47 and I just broke, I broke my fast about 5, at 5.35. So I got my protein shake. I got on um, my vegan taco pie that my fiance made. And I got some canelas. And I am eating on the go. And that's the thing about fasting. When your window open up, if you're a busy person, you still got a lot of stuff to do. So they're trying to figure out how to get your food in your system and how to get enough calories in your system because every hour counts and you do not want to miss an hour because if you got to eat 3,000 calories, if you miss that moment to eat it, it's really no going back and making it up in that other hour because you're going to get full too quick. So that's the only complicated thing about fasting. But besides that, it's been working extremely well. And I can definitely see my definition coming back. So y'all stay tuned. Hey, we're day back. Big squeeze. Come on. Come on. Got a lot going on right there. Got a lot going on right there. Come on, big pull. Big pull. Should I wish my back look like that? Let go. What's up, y'all? So I'm sitting down. My last meal might be my last meal of the day. I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet. But um, yeah, the day been pretty good. So I think I am going to start waiting to take my supplements um until after I get ready to break my fast because after my workout. And I know after a fast, your body is going to absorb everything a whole lot better. So instead of um, taking some supplements during my fast, I'm going to wait till after my fast. Now, I'm still going to do my pre-workout um, and I'm still going to do my L-arginine and maybe the L-glutamine. But as far as my other herbs and stuff, I'm going to wait till after I break my fast and I get ready to eat food just to see how it might work. So, keep y'all updated. And if I do eat anything else, it might be my my chips. I just took me another pre-workout. I hope I'm gonna be up all night. With the other half cap of my pre, the other half cap of my pre-workout. I got food all over my face. Um. I have these chips right here. I might eat the whole bag. 
Oh, I might share with my my son, and we might eat them together. But that'd be it. Um, I probably am gonna wait till I get down to 146, and then I'm going to start fasting four days a week, and then three days of that week I will have a normal eating day. So I'm gonna start doing that just to um help out with my mass and muscle building. But besides that, y'all have a blessed night. I'll see y'all in the morning.